What's going on? Welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. I'm Dustin. Brent is sick, so he's not going to be with us this week for this basketball show. We're heading into week 11. We're going to start with a trade question from our forums. This one comes from Go Twins. They want to know if they should trade Igudala and Raymond Felton for Gasol. This is a very interesting trade, but I'd say you go ahead and pull the trigger if you at all need a center. Now, I know Gasol's numbers are a little inflated right now. I do think they will come back down a little bit, but he's a solid center with great percentages. And Igudala, I think his numbers are inflated right now as well, but now, everyone, now everyone's healthy out there with the 76ers. It's got a lot of scores out there, a lot of people looking for some points. You know, Igudala's numbers are probably going to be affected, so I, I don't mind dropping or getting rid of him right now. And if turnovers count in your league, that's another really good reason to do this trade because both Felton and Igudala turn the ball over a lot. But you are going to also get a roster spot out of this trade, and I think you will be able to find someone that's at least comparable to Felton on the waiver wire. So I think this is a good trade. It's a definitely a fair price for Gasol. I say you go ahead and pull the trigger. All right, let's get into the waiver wire. We're going to start with the must ads, and that's Tyrese Thomas is the first guy. Owned in 70% of leagues, just came back from, it, from injury. He's had two monster games so far. Get him now before it's too late if he's still available. Another guy who just came back from injury is Yi with the Nets, the woeful Nets. Only owned in 55% of leagues right now. He's had two great games in a row. You got to get him now while you still can. Another guy, Courtney Lee, only on in 55% of leagues. We've been talking about him all year. This guy's going to be huge. You need to get him now. He's just now, he is starting to put up some better numbers as of late. He's been a little bit inconsistent, but we really like his chances moving forward. And another guy, Nate Robinson. We've talked about it almost every week at this point. Still only owned in 30% of leagues. But there's probably a 50-50 chance, I'd say, that he ends up in a great situation where he's going to play a lot of minutes if he gets traded. He is a very good gamble. Just pick him up, wait him out a couple weeks, and hopefully he can get traded. All right, let's take a look at some guys in deeper leagues. We start with Kurt Heinrich. He's been putting up a little bit better numbers lately, kind of playing a little bit more consistent minutes. He's only on in 35% of leagues. You know, he's not going to score a lot of points, but he gets you a lot of that other stuff that just fills up the stat sheet. Next, Kenyon Martin, known in 65% of leagues. It's always been health with him, but he's healthy right now and putting up great numbers. Next, Jared Dudley, owned in 25% of leagues. He's only been playing about 25 to 30 minutes a game, but he's taking full advantage and filling up the stat sheet. Another guy, Omri Caspi, only owned in 25% of leagues. In six of the last seven games, he's played over 30 minutes. Now, there's a lot of injuries out there with the Kings, but we think that even once everyone's healthy, he has a good chance at keeping a lot of those minutes. And the last guy to look at in deeper leagues is Corey Brewer. He's not much more than a role player score, of score but he does score a lot. So you're going to want to take a look at him if you at all need a boost in points. All right, now we got two guys you're going to want to keep an eye on. And the first is Randy Foy, owned in 35% of leagues. He's out there with the Wizards. There's been some rumors that they might be shaking some things up out there. Who knows, Foy might be a beneficiary of this. So keep an eye on Foy once things get shaken up out there with the Wizards. And next, we got Dante Green with the Kings. He's only, only on in 5% of leagues. Now, he's proven that he can play well when he gets the minutes. Now, he's only been playing because of all the injuries. But if there's another injury out there and he gets more minutes, we do like his upside. So just keep an eye on him. So that's it for this week. If you got any questions for, him, for us, go on to our forums on fantasysmacktalk.com. I'm Dustin. We'll see you next week.